Hey my friends, welcome to Kyle's Film Garage. It's been raining for a few days here in Hollywood and I figured that today would be a great day to go to the boulevard before the shops are open when it's all clean and sparkly and whatnot. So uh, let's get right to it. I have my coffee. I am prepared for this journey that we take. As you can see right there, we got Kermit. This is the Jim Henson Company. Say hey to Kermit as he salutes Hollywood. What's up, Kermit? The Charlie Chaplin Studio. That is what this was. Built in 1917. Historical Cultural Monument number 58, Los Angeles. Oh, well, look at that, the gate's open. The gate is now closing. Cool. All right, no trucks, no trucks, not a truck. Because I already have my coffee, I'm not gonna have to go to any coffee place because this is my coffee that I made myself because that's way less than $4. So, you know, sometimes you sometimes you got the four dollars and sometimes you just don't got the four dollars. And right now I have my home coffee. Hey, by the way, I have a new level on the channel members of buy me a coffee level to $1.99. So I drink a lot of coffee. So if you want to join the channel, help support independent film, you can do that for buck ninety nine and keep me uh, supplied on some coffee for these walks. Woo! Thank you. All right, so where are we, Kyle? We are crossing Sunset right now, and that right over there is the Starbucks that I would normally go to. So we're at La Brea and Sunset, to be specific. We are heading up to Hollywood Boulevard because that is the destination where there will be no people or few people so we can, like, you know, have some space to look around. Just up there singing a song. So where are we, Kyle? We're at the Quality Inn. And that is right across the street from, there's a little bar across the street called The Woods. And, okay, now you can see the, the yeah, The Woods. Little rustic dive bar, it's super cool. It's like a uh, dark. It used to be called The Lava Lounge. They've always kept it kind of like, you know, dark and cool and like a little dive bar, a little neighborhood dive bar. So if you like that kind of thing, that's a good one. Let's go check it out when you're here. So I don't know exactly what's going on with the views on my channel and stuff like that, but uh, it seems that it's not getting a lot. So do me a favor and just click like on this, leave a comment or something that you are seeing my videos come up like in your feed and whatnot, however the, the YouTube thing works. So, uh, so yeah, let's, let's see what's going on with this. By the way, I did a short yesterday, kind of like saying don't overthink things. I wanted to let you know what I'm going to be doing on this channel because I had had, I have like three channels. Okay, so I had like three channels. I had Driving Through Hollywood, which I just talked about, Scary, campfire stories which is like scary stories it's like a, a spooky channel you know and I also was gonna do a mead channel called world tree brews so what I've decided to do is instead of launching these different channels is I'm just gonna put everything on this channel with you know the the playlists and just like have a scary stories playlist and like a, a my my brews my mead and wines and all that kind of stuff just have a playlist and um and of course like you know all my hollywood stuff so and acting and film and all that kind of stuff so 
just letting you know what's going on so uh, don't be surprised if you start to see some scary stories pop up and whatnot and i will be obviously doing the voiceover of them so you know i figure hey that's why i changed the name of the channel to kyle hester actor guy because it's not just about film stuff so you know try to keep you in the loop of what's going on so where are we kyle we are on the hollywood walk of fame before the shops are open, before the tourists get here, before the people in costumes and the people selling DVDs and CDs and all of that stuff. You have your people out just jogging, living life, drinking coffee, walking on a rainy street. Thank you for joining me on these walks, my friends. I appreciate you. And thank you for supporting the channel. By the way, click like on this. Subscribe to the channel. That will be fantastic. Say hey to Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm sure that place was like totally packed last night with the uh, football games and whatnot. So we're at Hollywood and Sycamore. It's an LA Fitness. I used to live up this street. You know what? We're gonna take a walk. We're gonna go check out my old apartment building up down, up on this street. So this building right here, this Author Services Incorporated, that is a Scientology building, 7051. You wouldn't know that it was a Scientology building unless you like looked at, you know, the fact that there's L. Ron Hubbard, you know, books, all those pictures there are all L. Ron Hubbard stuff. Crossing the street. <sighs> Always helicopters. Always helicopters. Yeah, you see all the battlefieldearth.com. It's all L. Ron Hubbard stuff. So yeah, so we're walking up Sycamore. And this is this building right next to us. This is the um, LA Fitness and the mall, Target, all that good stuff. It's this, the parking lot. All right, so we just passed that big building. I figured that was kind of boring. So you, you don't need to see all that. So this is 1736. This is not where I used to live. Let's see if I can remember what the address actually was. This was a long time ago when I lived here. But yeah, right off Hollywood Boulevard. Sycamore Terrace, 1750. Here is the building. 1764 Sycamore. Yeah, this is where I used to live. This is, um, it's, it looks a lot nicer now than it did then, I tell you that. They have, have a little pool down there. I, uh, I never went into that pool, so I, I don't know why. Maybe it wasn't ready to be used at the time. I don't know, but uh, yeah, I never went in. But yeah, this looks super nice now. It, it was, it was, uh, it was lime green back then, and um, nice fountain. Yeah, good times. I did have a lot of fun living in 1764 Sycamore when I first got here into Los Angeles. Take a peek. Yep, cool. And then elevator right there. And we get in that and go up upstairs on the first floor. This is the bottom, but so I lived on the first floor, which is one floor above the basement, which is where this is right now. So yeah. Well, it looks like it's a clean pool. 
That's cool. But enough about me. Let's go to the boulevard, shall we? So yeah, so basically I would walk down this street to the boulevard. There is a little liquor store that's right across right across the way there, kind of on the block that I showed you in other videos. And uh, so yeah, so you know, you get like, get like snacks and stuff like that. You know, it's, it's just like a liquor store. It's not a grocery store. And this Target, which is right next to us right now, was not here at the time. So couldn't go get groceries at Target. So yeah, so now we're back on the boulevard. The um, liquor store that I was speaking of is right there, that one. So that has been here forever, since as long as I've known. This is the Target. All of this is, I don't know, it's relatively new. But uh, yeah, I remember when I was, when I was first, when I lived here, all of this, all of this was like a big, the city block was just dirt. And, uh, and I remember like them, digging the very first trench down there and going, holy cow, it's, it's a huge hole. It's like, and I remember thinking like, what are they gonna do here? And now we know it's a Target and a Subway and a CVS and an LA Fitness and other things that are in there. But yeah, it's kind of wild, like flashback to see what things are and what things were. Hey, so I, I like to look down every once in a while and I just happen to uh, to catch this one out of the corner of my eye. So, Nicolas Cage. Do you like Nicolas Cage or do you not like Nicolas Cage? I, I know that like he's got a lot of, you know, both ways on that. I like him. I think he's like super quirky. But uh, I don't know, I think, I think it's cool. Oliver Stone, the man, the man. Shops are just now opening up, souvenir shop. That's pretty cool. I gotta keep talking because they got music there, so yeah. So crossing orange here on Hollywood. This is Madame Tussauds, the wax museum. This place they normally have like super loud music so so now i can come here and kind of show you what there is got iron man say hey five dollar store right back there oh check this out so we're going to be able to go to the Walk of Fame where they have all the handprints. And where is that, Kyle? Well, that is at the Man's Chinese Theater. Right here. Cool. Oh, look at that. Speaking of Nicolas Cage, I didn't do this on purpose. I, I just stumbled upon the two things that were Nicolas Cage. So... Let's see. Ritz Brothers, 1937. Holy cow. That's awesome. Oh, look at that. Rita Moreno, West Side Story. That's awesome. Natalie Wood. I mean, do I even have to read that one? I don't think so. I don't think so. Susan Sarandon. That's super cool. Spoiler alert. The best Batman ever. Yeah, you heard me. Danny Glover. 
Love that guy. So yeah, Man's Chinese Theater. Inside the theater is beautiful. Charles Boyer. Look at that. Alan Ladd. Yeah. Yeah, this is quite quite a place. Quite a place to have your name. El Capitan Theater across the street. That's right. Jimmy Kimmel Live. That's where they shoot Jimmy Kimmel. We have been back behind there. I saw the parking lot so you can see where people park for the Jimmy Kimmel show. And this, my friends, is where they had the Academy Awards at the Dolby Theater. Just have a little stroll back here for a second. I like to walk the stairs every once in a while, you know. It's good for the soul. Nineteen sixty-two, best picture in Lawrence of Arabia. That's pretty cool. I hope you can see that. Yeah. Got some other people up here on the stairs with cameras. Do because that's what you do. Because these are the stairs. I mean, this is it. These are them. Pretty cool. Let's 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 step on one. We did it. We did that. We came to the Academy Awards stairs and we stood on it. I'm not going to bother those people up there, so we're not going to walk all the way up. So my plans for today, after I do this walk, they go home, edit this video, put it up. You will enjoy it, and then I will be watching. No, and then I will be editing the. Uh, documentary that I'm doing about the tents in Hollywood so in addition to making a scary stories video which I will also put up on this channel and I might just make some wine today too for another video that I'm gonna put up on this channel like I was discussing earlier see all things come here so be sure to subscribe to see all of it city sightseeing double-decker open bus fortunately the rain is stopping right now, so they're gonna be okay. But uh, they would not have been okay the last couple of days. But it just looks so nice when it's all like sparkly and clean, like, you know, big fire hose was just taking it everything and now it's all clean. Gotta love it. So we're almost at Hollywood and Highland and this is right where you can go down into the metro station so yeah so see that says metro and this is where the metro rail is hey look you know what let's have a little adventure let's go down there so it goes pretty far i would say this is I would say we're going like 35 feet on this one escalator. So, I, I'm not even watching my feet. I'm just walking on the escalator with a camera. See, I do stunts for you guys. So look at this. We're going down again. So that's, see that's 35. And let's say this looks like a little, a little, let's call it, so 35 plus another one at 35. So we're gonna say that the actual rail station is like 70 feet underground. Maybe, that's what I'm guessing. Cool. All right, so this is where you get to tap cards and whatnot to get on the subway. So you have to have a card to be able to go through those little, little turnstiles over there. So what do we got? We got your base fare, $1.75, day, 
five bucks. Seven days, $18. Huh, interesting. Seven day, $18. So that's almost like, you know, if you went seven days times $1.75, that's gonna be, yeah, it's close, you know? Anyway, so yeah, so basically you put your money in there, you get your tap card, and um, depending, you can fill up your, your card with whatever you want. And uh, then you go over here. And you just, you just tap it right there. Just a little tap, beep, just like that. I don't have a tap card. We're not gonna go anywhere on the subway right now, but just giving you a little, little look like what it looks like. It's pretty cool, Hollywood subway. Metro rail, as they call it. All right, my friends. We have been down in the catacombs of the Metro. We are now going to not be in the Metro and go back upstairs using the escalator. Why does everything have to be so dramatic, Kyle? I, I don't know. I don't know, just enjoy the ride, right? By the way, 22 of you have rented my short film on the O Prime Network. Thank you so much. The link is in the description. I have a short film called Long Haul about my experience with the long haul situation, symptoms and whatnot the past few years. So it's kind of like my interpretation of how to explain what it's like. So please join that. It's like Netflix for indie film. It's how we're gonna stay alive as indie filmmakers so that uh, we can all keep doing this crazy thing called film. So yeah, go check it out. Link is in the description. You can join this channel too. Buy me a coffee, $1.99 by joining the channel. I appreciate you all. And we are now on the street again. They said it was gonna stop raining. It's, it's raining again. Hold on, I know how to fix this. That's right, that's the only reason that I actually uh, brought the backpack with me is because I had an umbrella in it. So, as my wife said, be sure to bring the umbrella. And I was like, eh, all right, I'll bring it for her. And then, of course, it starts raining. So, you know, she's right. All right, my friends, I actually was not anticipating rain, like on a serious note. So, uh, so I am going to uh, go home and edit this. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Join the channel, subscribe, click like, comment. Let's wake this channel back up. Show people that we do exist on the planet. I'll see you on the next video.